Today we're going to create our very first Google Maps enabled Webby document using CMAPS Analytics. The goal is to make it as simple as possible for even the most casual web intelligence user to let data that resides in a vertical table to appear in a map and then also grant a little bit of control to customize the appearance. By default you're met with a standard Google Map, in this case the trial which is branded, and when we go into design mode, we're met with a nice property sheet that allows an end user to point and click and select the data that you want to appear inside of your map. So with only three simple properties, in this case our address or our location, we can click, bind, and select the column that we want to view. In this case, these are gonna be countries. This could just as easily be latitude, longitude, addresses, or any other location. Then we want to select the label. Now in this case I've created a custom variable where I've concatenated together several objects including the measures. This is what will appear when we click on the location. And then finally I need to select the measure that I want to look at in my map which will drive other visualization options. And just with those three clicks when I go to preview my map I'm instantly going to be met with those locations directly inside of my Google Map. Now what if I want to change the appearance? All I'm looking at is just points on a map. If you go to Design Map, what we do for end users is provide multiple templates to change the appearance and visual orientation. So if I click Points Choropleth Template, what that's going to do when we save this and go to Reading Mode is not just put the points on the map, but also color them so that we're using the value to drive the color and highlight what's most important. All of this is exposed to the end user to create simple maps. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how we can create more sophisticated, multi-layer maps that include anything from custom regions and territories to hub and spoke diagrams and anything in between to extend even more power to your end users for analyzing your webby data on the fly.